Hi guys, welcome back to Golden Reviewer. I believe some of you have watched my previous video regarding the high refresh rate or so-called promotion on the iPhone 13 series. And under that video, I see a lot of very interesting discussion and comments and suggestions from all of you, which is amazing. I really appreciate that. And uh, today in this video, I want to share with you my further findings and uh, I'm going to compare iPad Pro to iPhone 13 Pro Max. We'll compare the refresh rate of these two devices under the same use pattern. And after this video, you'll understand why I think there is a problem with the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So as you can see, I've connected both devices to my FPS monitoring tool, which is PerfDoc. So as you can see, the iPhone is on the right. So when I start to scroll on the iPhone, you can see the FPS on the right start to increase. And then if I start to scroll on the iPad Pro on the left, then the FPS meter on the left will start to increase. Okay, so firstly, I will just scroll on both devices at a very slow and steady pace. And if I do this, both of the devices can actually reach a very high refresh rate of maybe around 110 which is nice. But once we started to scroll very quickly, then you'll notice right away that the iPhone will start to drop frames. Just look at the FPS meter. So instead of 100 or 110, it start to drop to 80, 70, 90, so somewhere around 80. And well, it's not super apparent in video because it's only 60 FPS, uh, it's very, very apparent to my naked eyes. And it's the same if I just do this kind of uh, very casual scrolling up and down. You see the FPS is nowhere near 120. It's usually around 70 to 80 on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. But then on the iPad Pro, there's no such problem. However you scroll, it will maintain a stable 110 to 120 FPS, which is super, super smooth. And next, I'll show you the home screen, which behaves the same. No matter how you scroll, the, the iPad Pro will remain at 110 to 120 FPS, which is very smooth. However, the iPhone 13 Pro Max will sometimes suddenly decide to drop to up to 80, 70 FPS. And then you can just feel that it's not as smooth. Okay, there are also someone who says that, uh, why do you need high refresh rate in settings? Uh, well, fine, then I just try with another app. I use the App Store to try this as well. Now you just look at this difference. The iPad Pro will still run at 110 to 120 Hz, while the iPhone 13 Pro drops to 80, 90, 70, so somewhere around 80 again. So it's a very similar behavior as in the settings app and uh, the home screen. And this difference in smoothness is very apparent to my naked eyes. And only if you scroll super slowly, then the iPhone will be smooth and run at 110 to 120 Hz. And this is why I think this is a bug, because we are all quite familiar with the ProMotion on iPad Pro and most of the people will think that this is one of the best implementations of high refresh rate out there on the market. So this iPhone 13 Pro behaves very differently from the iPad Pro, which makes me think this is a bug. And I think it should be fixed in future system updates. Okay, lastly, I'll show you another thing which makes me think this is a bug. I'll show you the YouTube app. And you will actually notice the YouTube app is not affected by this issue. So no matter how quickly or how slowly you scroll, the iPhone 13 Pro Max will be able to achieve a higher frame rate or refresh rate. So you don't really feel any jerkiness or any this kind of nonsense. So uh, see, the FPS on the right is pretty normal. We don't see the low FPS like 70 or 80. It's pretty normal at over 100 most of the time. And because of that, this feels much better than the home screen or app store or settings. And this makes me think that it's a bug because they behave differently. And apparently the behavior in YouTube is more favorable because it doesn't make you feel any lag because of uh, low refresh rate or dropped frames. 
and I do hope that this will be fixed in future updates. Alright guys, so that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please click that like button and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.